is innocent. Say the guilty. What's your problem? My problem is working with sloppy bitches. You not getting up on my home. I've been getting too little information. Following the aftermath of P Valley episode two, we learned a whole lot of the story arcs. We learned that Dollar Bill, excuse me, Uncle Clifford has got a lot of debt issues. And his main stripper, that boss Mercedes, is getting ready to dip because she put a plan together. And now he is trying to use Autumn Knight because she's got a fake ID. And we've got a trailer review where we slow the trailer down and we break it down for clues. Let's dive into it. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. Follow me in the fellas live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night at 9 p.m. where we cover all the TV shows that we're currently watching. We cover stocks to help you guys make some money. We talk about trending topics as well. And also follow me on Instagram if you're interested in seeing the journey I'm going through with my first ever born baby girl, Elle. Let's watch the trailer one more time and then we'll break it down. Oh, not at all. No tea, no ID. We got us a problem. Don't let no one know what you're about to do. Just let these bitches watch. Okay, so for those of you that have seen the last episode, you know that Uncle Cliff took the fake ID from Autumn and has threatened to throw her ass in jail if she doesn't get information from Dre on what's going on with the casino. So a relationship has been started. And you see her out and done got her a fresh horse. She done killed a fresh horse, got a new hairdo. And then you see her talking with the girls. And basically the girls is just kind of like, what you up to? Keep it clean. Then from there they show Autumn really, really doing what she can do to get in close to Dre. And it just makes you wonder when it comes to Dre, what is up with this other woman he was talking to on the phone that he completely hung up with her to talk to Autumn? Now, no matter what happens, Mercedes understands things. And she's basically trying to warn this girl, you know, whatever you're doing, you better be careful about it. Then they cut to a couple of scenes where, you know, they get in the strip club, right? Like my boy Larry said yesterday, he might have to go back and do a strip club tour. And then we see Autumn Knight standing there and we see Mercedes getting in her face, mushing her in the forehead. And I don't know what that is all about other than she's never been all that thrilled about trying to bring her under her wing, but she's telling her, you know, I will not let you get on my pole like that. And it just begs to wonder what insider information are they, they gonna reveal that's making this relationship even more contemptuous. Maybe Mercedes understands that Uncle Cliff has her doing an inside job on Andre and she doesn't agree with it, or maybe it's something more sinister. Next clip, we see her going to the stage, getting ready to do the dance, and then they cut to a scene right there where Dre is on his computer, and there's no secret of what he's doing on the computer. They're trying to bring in a casino. Dre is apparently a real estate lawyer and they're working on a huge casino deal that would also engulf Club Pink. And so the next scene is very telling, probably the most telling scene from this whole episode that's coming. You see Dre in what looks to be the Boom Boom Room with Uncle Cliff who has on a wig similar to what Autumn Knight is wearing. Is this the point in which Uncle Cliff going to spill the beans about this casino or does Uncle Cliff have some dirt on Andre? Because um, I'm still telling you guys, I don't know how clean Andre is. It'd be great if they had a, a pretty squeaky clean male in the show, but um, he's already showed he's got vulnerabilities for women and sometimes that can lead to other vulnerabilities. I wonder, is he going to be vulnerable to Uncle Cliff? Next scene, we see Uncle Cliff just dangling those fake license in Autumn's face. Autumn should have just, you know, kneed him in the groin, took the license and said, I'm done. What is he going to do? He's not a killer, I don't think. Then the very next scene, they clip right on back to Autumn Knight working her job. And as she's working her job, creating this fantasy for Dre, who I think he's fallen or he's simping one. She is staring at that computer over the shoulder. 
and eventually she hops on the computer and is trying to dig up all the information she can. But considering the way they splice her past, it makes you wonder, is she technically advanced or did she run a business? And as she's going through the computer, someone is coming back. We can only assume that it's Dre because you see she turns her head extremely quick and probably had to close that laptop. And then the next clip, you see Dre walking through a dark room. And then you see Uncle Cliff in his Sunday's best with all the glamour, all the glitz. And then lastly, they get down to my girl, Mercedes, who is warning someone, and it looks like she's warning someone in the church. The very next clip, they show her walking through the church, and she's talking to someone. Who is she warning? It can only be three people I can think of she's talking to. She's either talking to Uncle Cliff, of which I don't see him going to a church, Autumn, I don't see her going to a church, or her mother, who is supposed to be giving her back this money, but the consenting review is that the mama ain't got the money no more. And I think that if she did have the money and she was to give it back to Mercedes, Mercedes is probably going to give it to Uncle Cliff to save the club. So ladies and gentlemen, it's a whole lot going on in this particular episode. And we'll just have to watch it on Sunday to see where it all goes. But leave me all your comments on what you think, where they're going, and how you want to see these characters play out. That's going to do it for the video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, subscribe. Go get yourself that life game. Follow me on Instagram and be sure to catch the live show that me and the fellas put on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night at 9 p.m. And we will get back to the classic topics, Marvel, Tesla stocks, everything we used to do. We're going to get back to that, including sticking with the movies. Until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.